I'm half Lebanese, half Algerian. Hussam, known as Islam Jawad. I'm Syrian Lebanese, an MC. <laughs> When my brother brought the first cassettes of hip hop, and I was exposed to hip hop, and I loved it. I felt it was so strong and relevant, and I loved how it was talking about real problems in real life. Mostly, it's all about being strong as a woman embodying that, and women empowerment, I embody it. I don't necessarily talk about it, but it's the way I act. I had a lot more support because I was a female MC, but of course, it is only it, it was only the case because I was good enough. I had to work twice as hard and be twice as good. But once I earned the respect, being a woman, a woman made everything easier for me. I had more exposure, I was interviewed more, I was on TV more, I was invited for gigs more. Just because, not I'm a woman only, because I'm because a strong she's MC who is she really also is a woman. strong MC, yeah, totally. Yeah. It's no money, <laughs> The revolution had a bad impact on Arabic hip hop. Once the revolution started, it's like all ra there was this stupid, I don't know, understanding that now all rappers must only talk about politics and must only talk about the revolution. And that's wrong. Are you sure that the revolution is right? For right. example, did you wait a bit and see if this is something you need to encourage or this is something wrong? Before you just release the song? But there's people who take advantage of shit like that as well. Like to benefit themselves as artists and become more popular. Yeah. Different people will perceive what you're doing differently. Some might see it as a threat. Some might see it as... as, as uh, eye-opening. Eye-opening. Some might hear it become, oh, dude, I totally agree. You know, all of this and that. I was, I was actually taken off stage twice uh, for what I was saying on stage. Uh, I was taken in by Secret Services and questioned in the Arab world, those two. I've been stopped in the West by Secret Services and questioned. I've been jumped on by police in the West and arrested and handcuffed. One time, this guy, this police guy, uh, undercover police, came to my hotel room knocking at the door asking me what I'm doing here and why and what am I doing. Weird questions. And another time, it was. Uh, this police uh, woman with the camera on the phone literally filming me uh, while I was doing a certain verse, so I had to change my verse on the spot. I was like, oh, shit. It's like, we're here, we're watching. <laughs> exactly. I see you. Yeah. There's still a lot of stuff we say, and other people hear it, they're like, you shouldn't be saying that, or yeah. whatever. But there's certain things we just have to say. There's certain things where it's like, you gotta play the game a bit. And, you know. <laughs> the truth and it's being real, that's what matters.